So could there have been more safety measures put in place to stop this high rise fire? That's just one of the questions being asked after today's tragedy. Some tenants pointing out the lack of a fire sprinkler system. CBS 2 Sarah Maki live in the Gold Coast with more on the city's complicated fire code history. Sarah. Experts tell us that firefighters can only effectively reach about 80 feet when they are treating a fire from the ground here. So I want you to take a look at how far they had to go today up to the 27th floor. You can see one unit on with their light on tonight next door to it. Now they were pulling their equipment with them when the elevator became inoperable. So tonight we are looking at the city's history with fire sprinkler systems and why they are not required in buildings like this. Residents of 1212 North Lake Shore recorded these videos of firefighters loaded up and climbing up dozens of flights of stairs. They walked up with their tanks and everything. They were sweating. Because when they got to the 27th floor. I mean, I don't know if we have sprinklers. There was no sprinkler system in this building to activate ahead of them. No, it's just lights that keep going. There's two schools of thought about it. Uh, I think uh, the... Uh, majority of opinion has swung over to the side of, you know, having sprinklers. A licensed architect and building code consultant, Christopher Chowetic, says Chicago previously leaned on fire containment techniques, building structures in a way that limited the spread of smoke and flames. But this fatal fire at a Cook County administration building in 2003 killed six people and ushered in more fire safety ordinances. Buildings built before 1975 could avoid costly fire sprinkler system retrofits if they passed the city's life safety evaluation, showing they had enough fire containment protocols in place. Unfortunately, there's a large stock, and I believe you have over 800 in Chicago without fire sprinklers. The CBS2 investigator showed you the limits of Chicago's sprinkler coverage after this fatal fire broke out in Kenwood January 25th. Flames started on the 15th floor, climbing nine stories overhead. That building, similarly built before 1975, did not have a sprinkler system. The quicker you can put a fire out, the safer you're going to be. And uh, compartmentation in the last few fires that we've seen here in Chicago uh, hasn't worked out too well. Retrofitting buildings with sprinkler systems is so much more expensive than it would be to include one in a new build. Now, we did hear today that there have been proposals in Springfield to make grants and money available to retrofit buildings, but in the past, those proposals have always fizzled out. In Chicago, Sarah Mahi, CBS 2 News. Sarah, thanks.